Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you from my dining room and my living room uh, a little bit about how you can become a fitness professional, a personal trainer, and the best ways in which you can maximize your income as a trainer. Uh, there's different types of trainers out there and I'm going to just pretty much give some generalities along with some definite must-haves along the way. Uh, just as a quick background, I've been doing this a very long time, long before there were online trainers, long before there was uh, even a YouTube, I was a personal trainer. And I've been doing this now for 36 years in the gym, training clients, and it's uh, been a great, great business, a great run as an entrepreneur. I love helping people. It's been fantastic, uh, very gratifying. So that's a few of the ingredients here to my career uh, that hopefully you as a potential trainer will go ahead and also enjoy along your path. So listen, I have a couple of notes here I'm going to share with you first. Number one, first and foremost, get an education. Get an education. What do I mean? For sure, study and get certified as a certified personal trainer. The education that you get in most certified training programs is really quite excellent. Uh, originally, I thought that they were just a bunch of fly-by-night scam situations that were created just pretty much to make money for certification programs. And the gyms that you were working at generally had liability issues. So to cover their own backs for liability purposes, they had to have trainers get insured. Uh, that part, at first, I wasn't very trusting of myself, but I can tell you very much that uh, I very much believe taking a good certified training program, and there's a bunch of them. I'm not going to uh, you know, name them in this video, but you can go ahead and you can find through your local gyms. You can go to a, a good local family gym or to a LA Fitness, a 24 hour fitness, or any of those major chains, a Gold's Gym, a World Gym, and ask them uh, what programs they use for their personal trainers and what they recommend and what they will accept. So, if you are choosing to train clients in the gym, in their facilities, you can be appropriately certified by those programs that they accept. Secondly, get insured, get great trainer liability insurance. And I would recommend taking out the highest amounts to protect yourself as well as your clients. It's always a good practice. So getting certified as a personal trainer, getting certified trainer insurance, liability insurance. And then also it's important that after you have those base things, how do you get started? Well, there's a lot of people that just train for a year and suddenly they just, you know, stick up a signpost online and they say, hey, I'm a trainer. I'm an online trainer on Instagram or on YouTube right here where I'm at right now. And that part is, you know, very workable for a lot of people and they sell training programs and diet programs. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I don't think that that lends them, so, lends them to be very credible nor does it give them a great educational background in how to deal with people, the clients. There's going to be problems along the way as a trainer. You're going to have to solve problems. You get paid according to the size of the problems that you fix. So if people have generally, you know, problems for their entire adult life, dropping body fat, you better bet as a trainer, you better have answers for them. You better be able to help them with their diet and their exercise programs, but also when they hit plateaus along the way, how do you get over them? And that's why I prioritize in the gym training. Become a trainer and train people in the gym, one-on-one, -on -one, in person, not even groups. Learn how to take a person's program, a vast group of people, different people, one at a time. Learn how to take their training programs and manipulate them along the way to get great results. If you do such things, you'll never incur a problem that's too hard for you to handle as a trainer. So 
having the base knowledge from books is fine. However, when, knowing when to apply that knowledge, the working knowledge, the comprehension on how to take that knowledge and work it, the only way you can get that is by actually working it and doing it on clients. And the best way to do it is one-on-one -on -one with people and their individual problems. So I prioritize, if you want to be a trainer for the long haul, it's not just a short-term career for a few years for you, then I prioritize in the gym training. Get a great experience training people in the gym. It's not just that I've done that for over three decades. I'm saying the benefits of it are so vast and so great that you can benefit from them. So, yeah, prioritize getting an in-the-gym experience, training clients one-on-one. -on -one. Gather your own empirical evidence of what works and what doesn't work with your clients in the gym. It's the best way to learn as a trainer, on the go, on the fly. So anything you can get from a certified training program is fantastic, but add to that by gaining your own experience in the gym. So that's one way of training people in the gym. I mentioned also a lot of people putting up, boom, a signpost saying, hey, I'm a trainer online. Now, I have to say, when it comes to training clients online, that's the area in which, well, it represents the highest potential for income right there. Large numbers of people from around the world will hire, well, they'll hire just about any, but they'll hire good trainers and continually come back to those trainers and refer them to others. Uh, the trainer themselves, for the amount of time you put into it, uh, there's a great reward financially in that. You are training, trading dollars for minutes, whether you're training people in the gym or you're training people online. You are putting time into it. And when you put time into it, you want to maximize those dollars. Training people in the gym, dollars for minutes, dollars for hours, you're a little limited unless you're charging quite a bit of money. And once you're solving big problems, like I said earlier, then it shouldn't be too hard for you to maximize your income as an in-the-gym trainer. So raise your prices as the information that you know is more and more valuable and you're stockpiling that information, then your prices should go up. You have more value to the clients. Then when you're online and you have a good online program, that you're using on people, then, because again, you're giving really great information and good answers to people and getting results with great clients, then you can charge a decent amount of money as an online trainer as well. And you'll be dealing with more people putting in a little less time, well, a lot less time per client, and you'll be maximizing your income that way. So being an online trainer is probably the best for maximizing the income, not necessarily the best for maximizing your internal database of intelligence to share with the client. But nevertheless, it is the highest potential for income as a trainer. Uh, so we have in the gym training, we have online training, and thirdly, what you see me doing here right now as a YouTuber. Start a YouTube channel. Start giving away some free information. Start teaching people, interacting with people in a great way. And eventually, that YouTube channel will become monetized. Is it easy? No, it's not easy. None of these three are easy. You have to show up for work as a personal trainer in the gym. You have to get online and show up for work as an online trainer. And yeah, you have to create edit, produce, and get online, answer questions many times to the videos that you've put up, and put those videos up on YouTube. So the third major way that I know and I see and I share right now as a trainer to maximize your income and your potential as a personal trainer is to have your own YouTube channel and to continually keep it running with more and more good information. So that YouTube channel, 
you'll see becomes monetized. And then you also have the potential on YouTube to do things such as create your own merchandise, sell your own merchandise, write books. I've written books myself. Uh, I'll put the links on the bottom of the page for my books. Have your own website, of course. Be prof professional as a trainer. Be professional. Present yourself properly to the public. Don't just go about half-assing the whole thing. There's more fly-by-night trainers involved in the personal training business than you can imagine. Separate yourself from the pack as a professional. Now, over the years, I've helped several trainers become trainers themselves. I help them through their certification programs. I help them in the gym, sharing my own knowledge with them. And that's sort of a added information, added bonus I want to add to this video right here. Sort of thinking outside of the box and applying some of, I'm a Christian, so applying some of the biblical principle that I know, sowing and reaping, sowing some seed of information into others, helping others. As a trainer, as an experienced trainer, I share all the time information with other trainers. And specifically, I've helped several trainers become trainers themselves. And then throughout their career, they have kind of bounced back and forth with me and, you know, relied on me to sort of mentor them along the way. And I relish that. It's a responsibility. And so it's fun. I love seeing them grow and it's come back on me in many ways. I've reaped great harvests of not only satisfaction, but also uh, business coming back my way because of it. So I appreciate that very much. Being a trainer, bottom line, involves a lot of responsibility. As gratifying as it is, you have a responsibility to your clients. You have a responsibility to also, if you're helping, other trainers as I have, you have a responsibility to them to give them the right information and also do it all from your heart and not necessarily do it every single time just for money. So that's it for today. Trying to help you to become a professional personal trainer from my heart to you, John Hart. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, before you leave, if you don't mind hitting that red subscribe button down there on your bottom right, and hitting that thumbs up on your bottom left. Hit the notifications bell as well so you can get notifications on when my new videos come up. And that's it for today. Thank you, John Hart. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below and feel free to comment on this video.